says write the equation of the hyperbola with a vertex at 3, 0. So there's one of my vertices. And 3, negative 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that tells us right away which way it faces. If this is a vertex, it's going to go up and down. So my y squared is first minus my x squared. Now I'm still going to have to plug in my center, my a's and b's, all that, but I can kind of get a, a gist of what my equation is going to look like. Now the next thing we're given is the, the, the equations of the lines for the asymptote. So let's graph each one of these. I'm going to start with this one. y is equal to negative x. Well that's just got a slope of negative 1, so I'm going to dot that in. Okay, so here's the equation of that asymptote. y is equal to negative x, so it's going right there, which looks right because it's looking like it's hitting this halfway point between my two vertices. So the second one is x minus 6, so we go down to our y-intercept of negative 6, and then we go up by 1. Yes, they're both crossing, crossing at that little point. Now let's figure out what that center point is. The center point is 1, 2, 3 down. So it is at positive 3, negative 3. And that is the center of our hyperbola. That, that's the h and k we're going to plug into the equation. Now we need to figure out what a and b are. Well, we're going to use the slopes. What is the slope? The slope is 1 and negative 1. So since this is up 3, if I go over 3, that gives me my box I can draw. So there's my box. So guess what? A is 3 and B is 3. We haven't had one like that where A and B are the same, and that's okay. Okay, so A is 3 and B is 3. So A is 3, B is 3, and that's all I need to finish out my equation since I have the center. So let's write our formula with the y squared first, y plus 3, and I'm doing plus 3 because of that, and minus 3, quantity squared minus x so back to the center, minus 3, quantity squared. a squared is always first, so it's going up a, which is 3. 3 squared is 9. b is also 3. b squared is 9 is equal to 1. And we have just found the equation from the clues. Drew it, sketched it, and got an idea of what the equation was. Mm -hmm.